Niazi Kizilyuruk became a member of the European Parliament for Cyprus earlier this year. He's attempting to break down borders on the divided island in the Mediterranean Sea. We have been to United Nations as a, as a conflict first time in 1954. Kizil Yurek grew up in the occupied Turkish north, but lives in the Greek part in southern Cyprus. The political science professor wants to fight in the EU parliament for an end to the conflict. Cyprus has been divided since the Turkish invasion more than 40 years ago. We visit the mayor of Potamia, a little village on the Greek side right at the border. The next town is in the Turkish part. It's just five minutes away, but as we're divided by the Green Line, it takes two hours. The consequences of the partition are visible to everyone in Potamia. These are the missing persons of Bodamia people who are, who are missing uh, during the war. This monument was erected just 10 years ago. It was a concession to Greek Cypriot nationalists. Some see the Greek flag behind it as a provocation. Because Potamia is the last ethnically mixed place on Cyprus. It's both Greek and Turkish. Niazi Kizuyuruk did especially well here in the last election because he actively supports a peaceful solution to the conflict. He and the mayor visited the UN-administered buffer zone separating Potamia from the Turkish north. These fields are used by Greek Cypriots here and by Turkish Cypriots on the other side. The farmers know each other. You can walk from here over the other village over there, but because there is a small danger that someone can see you, a soldier, and you're arrested in this case. We're now driving towards the checkpoint leading into the Turkish north. The border controls take a long time. We need to wait and we're not allowed to film. The Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is only recognized internationally by Turkey. Here too, national pride is particularly important to some. I'm elected. It's a kind of victory of uh, anti-nationalist Greek and Turkish Cypriots against nationalism. En route to Loragina, there are many heavily armed Turkish army checkpoints. It's an enclave surrounded by soldiers. Kizil Yurek grew up here. Right outside the local pub, there's a bust of Kemal Ataturk, the founder of modern Turkey. A visit to Mayor Hasan Barbaros and supporters shows that many people would like to see a solution to the conflict sooner rather than later. Everywhere else, there's progress, but we're stuck here. We need an entry point here to the south. Laragina was a cosmopolitan village. It was the island's biggest Turkish village. Now it's the smallest village on the island. Five thousand people are said to have lived here once. Today, it's a meager 300. Most people left the village. Located just at the border to the Greek south, the neighboring village of Potamia is so close, but inaccessible. Kizil Yurek ran for the European Parliament because he wants that to change. In Brussels, he's already testing Cypriot unity. So you can join me in this we are sitting here together, my assistant, Hakan, Turkish Cypriot, Dennis Greek Cypriot, uh, Ishodor is also a Greek Cypriot, and we are all together. And I think that is what I want to see in Cyprus. They're setting an example while hoping that the border dividing Cyprus can finally be overcome.